What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Black Ops Cold War. Today I'd like to talk about weekend one of the beta, kind of give you my thoughts about it. Of course, going into next weekend's cross-platform beta. The biggest issue for me, or one of the biggest issues for me, and I think a lot of the community was connections. Uh, when it come to when it comes to connections between the alpha and of course the weekend one of the beta, it's almost ridiculous. Uh, the connections were really, really bad. Now, I will say the last few days, Saturday and Sunday, the connections were a lot better on my end for me personally, but Thursday and Friday, the connections were just absolutely awful. It was just lag. It was a lot of lag is all I can say. It's a lot of people complaining about lag and I saw it on my end several times. Um, and of course, David Vanderhaar has gone on to Twitter talking about a lot of these issues, saying that a lot of the problems people are having are connection based. They were working on it and it did seem to improve over the weekend. Uh, like I said, I did not have as many problems on Saturday and Sunday as I did on Thursday and Friday, which is a good sign. Uh, and like any Call of Duty beta in the past, there's always problems with the beta. And of course, you know, we get updates during the beta. We get a large, usually day one update for the game when it comes out, trying to fix some of the problems with the beta. I'm sure it's going to be the same case for this game when that time comes. But overall, I, did, I didn't feel like it was as bad, like I said, kind of in into the week end as it was at the beginning of the weekend. Uh, I know some people were still having problems even yesterday, so it did not seem to improve for everyone. But overall, I think the connection issues is one of the biggest problems in the beta, or one of the major problems that a lot of people are having. The next thing was, of course, frame drop with the FOV slider. I kind of figured this would happen with old gen consoles. I play on a day one PS4, so I play on the OG PS4. And to, in my opinion, uh, turning your field of view up much past 90 uh, was kind of hurting you because you were getting a lot of screen tear and a ton of frame drop. So I, I played mainly on 80 for the whole weekend. It played a lot better than it did if I turned the FOV up. I did have friends that played on the PS4 Pro. They were talking about being able to play on 100 or 110 pretty much without any problems, but sometimes they were having issues as well. And it kind of as I figured, the FOV slider is really made for next gen. So for the PS5, the Xbox Series X, I just kind of feel bad for anyone that you know may not be able to get a new console at the time, may not uh, be able to find one. And they're kind of gonna be stuck playing on old gen consoles, not being able to turn, use that FOV slider, uh, you know, kind of for its maximum potential. But hopefully, you know, everyone will be able to get a new console when it comes out if they want one. And I really do think that's what the FOV slider was made for. Now, when it comes to the shoot first, die first situation, I know a lot of you have probably seen this issue being talked about on Reddit, on Twitter, all that kind of stuff. That was a big issue, even in my mind. Uh, the first few days, the shoot first, die first seemed to happen all the time. It seemed like you would put four, five, six bullets into someone. They could physically turn around and kill you in a, a half a second. It was like they would kill you in a bullet or two, like you're playing hardcore at times. Um, that kind of did, wasn't the situation, in my opinion. The later the weekend kind of went on, uh, kind of like the connections, it seemed to work a lot better. It was not seeming to have as many problems with that, in my opinion, on Saturday and Sunday. I played a lot of games yesterday and I only died, you know, kind of instantly once or twice compared to, you know, the beginning of the beta where I was, it was like it was happening the majority of the time. So hopefully that has been kind of, that kink has been worked out as well and hopefully it will be even better going into the cross-platform beta weekend. Now the one thing that I was not a fan of personally, I know a lot of people may not agree with this, but sound. Uh, the game sound in the alpha, I will agree the footsteps were a bit too loud. But during the beta, all the sound tweaks they made, I felt like all I could hear once again was my teammates' footsteps and nothing else. And if you wanted to hear, uh, you know, enemy footsteps, you needed to turn, you know, your headphones way up. And I use Astro A40s, and I didn't really want to have to turn them up too much more because it kind of reminds me of Modern Warfare. Now that they have uh, made the explosion sounds louder, the gun sounds louder, the kill streaks louder. Of course, if you play any combined arms, the boats are loud, the vehicles just in general are really loud. And in my opinion, if you turn your sound up too much, all of that other stuff kind of drowns out the footsteps anyway, but it, it is so loud. It's one of those situations where I felt like in Modern Warfare, when you have the VTOL jet above your head, it'll make your ears bleed if you have the sound up too high. And personally, I don't really need to hear footsteps that bad to make myself go deaf, you know, from everything else going on in the game. So I just feel like the sound probably could be tweaked again. I know a lot of people wanted more realistic gun sounds, grenade sounds, and I understand that. But at the same time, I think they may have tweaked it a little too much, and just in my opinion. Overall, I feel like the game was still enjoyable. I do enjoy the gameplay. I've always liked Treyarch games. I've always liked your Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, Black Ops 3 and 4 I even enjoyed. 
And I know not everyone's going to be on the same page. Everybody's not going to just enjoy Black Ops games. They're going to want, you know, more like Modern Warfare. And that's perfectly fine. Everybody has their own opinion. Everybody enjoys their own games. But I kind of do feel for Treyarch at the same time. They got kind of thrown into this. You know, this year was supposed to be Sledgehammer's year to make a game. And they were like, oh, never mind. Y'all going to have to make it. Uh, Treyarch, you're going to have to make it. Activision went to them and said, y'all are going to have to make the game. Sledgehammer's not doing it this year. And by the way, you're going to have to make it for new gen consoles and old gen consoles and PC. So have fun with that. So they have a lot on their plate. And I think they're doing the best they can. Hopefully, like I said, there will be improvements going into the cross-platform beta and the release of the game as well. But overall, like I said, I, I know people have their own opinions. They like Modern Warfare better. They like Black Ops better. It, just, it doesn't really matter. Uh, just hopefully, I, I'm hoping they can get everything working to the best of their ability uh, when the time comes, once the game is released. Um, but like I said, overall, I still feel like it was a fun experience. I do enjoy the gameplay. I really like the breakdown of the gunsmith. I, I think that is one of the best things they have added in Call of Duty in a long time. You can see... In, deta in detail what every attachment will do. You can see the positives and the negatives, and I think that was absolutely awesome. Um, I do enjoy most of the maps. I still feel it's kind of hard to see people. I know I've seen a lot of people talking about it's hard to see people, kind of like Modern Warfare. I'm not sure if it's just the engine they use now on these games, and it is not, does not work well with old generation consoles, once again. Because I know a lot of people, you know, went to PC to play uh, Warzone on it. Or when Warzone was getting really popular. And people were saying they couldn't see anyone on console. You know, they say you can see a lot better on PC. So I'm hoping maybe next-gen consoles will fix that issue of, you know, kind of the visuals. But once again, I do feel bad for anyone that's playing on older-gen consoles. Because the visuals, at times, you can lose people on some of these maps. And it's kind of annoying where you cannot see anyone. And you're kind of looking in that general direction. And you still don't see them. That gets, that gets kind of annoying. But overall, map-wise, I really do enjoy the majority of the maps. I, really, I didn't just hate any of them, you know what I mean? I did enjoy most of the maps that were available so far in the beta. Uh, weapons and spawns. Spawns still can be tweaked. I think the weapons can still be tweaked. There's a few weapons in the beta, just like the alpha, that are way overpowered compared to everything else. Hopefully that will get looked at. Um, sliding feels better than it did in the alpha, but I still think sliding needs to be tweaked. Because right now, I still feel like sliding is a main mechanic, like running and walking compared to being just an extra mechanic to use. I feel like everybody is going to slide, jump shot you, things like that. It's not really like sliding, it's just used here and there. It's like everyone is non-stop sliding across the map for movement or just to get into a gunfight. And I feel like the sliding mechanic can be looked at yet again. And the last thing I can say is Tony Flame and David Vanderhaar have been all over Twitter all weekend talking about changes and fixes. And I feel like they're doing a very good job on that and letting, letting the community know kind of what's going on. But anyway, guys, leave me your thoughts. And of course, if you liked it, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.